the fields are relatively smallish when you look at them. And then when you weed out the people whose seeding times are, you know, a minute back or so of some of the other folks in here, the list of people who could actually qualify is, is pretty short. And even though this is earlier than we expected, it's not as if all these people raced a bunch of times. So for example, on the men's side of things, you got Grant Fisher. Everybody's going to pick Grant Fisher. Of course, you're going to pick Grant Fisher because he ran 12.53 and 26.33. But he hasn't done anything since then. And that was a long time ago now. So I'm assuming he's fine. And I'm assuming the 12.53 indoors, American record, 26.33 outdoors, American record. I'm assuming he's still in some sort of vicinity of that shape. But it was a long time ago. You know, Woody Kincaid, same schedule, except he didn't run 26.33. He rabbited during that 26.33. But have we seen anything since? No. It's almost been marathon-type preparations in the 10,000. Klecker, Joe Klecker, who made the Olympic team, ran 13.04. He ran that 10.4 by mile. He's seated pretty high. Ben True was fourth last year. Don't forget about Ben True, but he hasn't raced on the track this year. Um, the other names I've listed, McGordy, Bohr, Kip Chirchir, Magger, Mance, Lamong, and Simbasa. So I have a list of like about 10 possibilities, although some of those are, are long shots. Lamong got 12th at the sound running race. That's more just the idea of never counting out Lopez Lamong because he's had this career resurrection. So I could probably even cut it down to maybe five or six if I had to choose. How many do you think have a chance of making the team and, and who is your team? Well, it's two are already going to, we know Fisher and Kincaid are making this team. I don't see a situation where they, neither of them make, don't make it. So it's really a bunch of people fighting for that third spot. And I'll tell you, I mean, true, I don't think he's making it because we haven't seen him. I think he's just here for the joyride. I think he originally wasn't declared and declared last minute. He hasn't run all year. I think he's true run. He's not run on the track. He's not run on the track. He's yeah, run a lot. Well, Race a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, McGordy, that's a maybe. You know, Bohr, I think – the I think when it comes down to it, I think it's going to be between Emmanuel Bohr and Joe Klecker for that third spot. If I had to like pick two people to battle, I think Lamong, no. Dylan Maggard, he's a maybe wild card. You need the race to go a certain way. Connor Mance, he's just going to be really good at getting fourth. That's what Connor Mance is going wow. to be good at. He's going to be like, I'm good at getting fourth. Um, you think fourth so? Or fifth. Yeah. I he'll think... like kick for fourth. He'll be an eighth, and then he'll pass like, he'll kick for fourth. He'll See, I think like the opposite. I think he'll be leading. Back of third. I think he'll be leading with 800 to go and maybe slide back to fourth. You know. Yeah, he'll be leading, but I, then a move will be made, and then he'll catch back up and get fourth. So he ran 27-25 in the, in the 10K at this, in the March, and then he ran 13-13 at the track meet in May. But I don't think he finishes lower than sixth. Yeah, agreed. So I think, he, I think he's going to be there. Yeah, I just be there, with but he's Bo not going to be, be there to get top. I three. agree with you on Fisher and Kincaid. I don't want to pick against people who ran that fast. Klecker looks healthy. McGordy ran both those races, although he ran them quite a bit slower than his Bowerman teammates. Bohr, he's 10th in the 10K last year. He got second in U.S. indoors in the 3K. Yeah, I just I, I don't know if I'm confident in the 10. If this is the 5, I would definitely pick him. And then... Cheer, cheer, Maggard. Simbasa, I think, could be a wild card. He got seventh last year, but he, he finished behind some folks that I think he should have beaten at the track meet. So I, I think I'll go Fisher, Kincaid. Do you think it could be Chalk from last year? Could we get Fisher, Kincaid, Klecker again? Yeah, I think that's going to be the betting favorite if we had betting, which we needed to make happen. Um, that would be the bet. But I really do think um, – Two are like 99% chance happening in Fisher and Kincaid. Klecker mm -hmm. is the one that has a ch – I mean, Klecker could easily get third, and it's like, all right, guys, chalk, we're good. But I really do think yeah. Emmanuel Bohr is the biggest challenger to Klecker. Klecker is the favorite over Bohr, but I do think Bohr has speed, and I don't think it's going to be fast. I think it's going to be a slow 10K. I think it's going to be a fast last 3K, last 4K. Yeah. There's no need for it to be honest. Everyone has a standard that, that needs it, like – I think it's going to be tactical, and I think people who would speed – and Klecker has speed, so that's why Klecker is still a favorite because Klecker can run like a 355 mile. It's not like Klecker doesn't have speed. So, But I do think mm -hmm. if I had to pick a challenger to Klecker, 
it would be Boar. I'll pick Klecker over Boar, but Boar is the challenger. I don't disagree with any of those names. I just think Mant, this feels like a weird race, and Mance does well in weird races. Because we're well, relying on top three. Yeah, I think he. I don't wouldn't pick him to win, but I could see if everybody's at their best, it's going to be tough. But you're saying it's not going to be a fast race. It's strange. Like we just don't have like this. Almost reminds me of like an NCAA cross country race where we saw them twice earlier. Yeah, some of them. Oh, jogged at conference. What does that mean? You know, that's the same yeah. as like him running thirteen fifteen or something at a meet, and and then the people who went all out, went to the well in March, you feel good about that? Or are you worried that they're not going to be peaking at the right time? May See, the fact that I've convinced myself this is kind of like cross just makes me want to pick Connor Mance because he's amazing across country. That's what this feels like. All right, so what's the gun to your head pick? What are your top three? Oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Fisher. I'll go Fisher, Kincaid. And then I'll go, I'll just, I'll be creative. I'll say Mance. All right. We're going Fisher. I'm going to go Fisher, Boar, Kincaid. Yep. But likely Klecker will make it. I'm going Fisher, Boar, Kincaid. Yeah. We, we're not respecting Klecker, but Klecker is the, Klecker is a, is a, is a safe pick. It's a sensible pick. Women's side of things, you